Just like us, the appearance of stump-tailed macaques changes as they get older. Their pink-red faces have no hair. Over time and with exposure to the sun, the red coloration darkens and may even become black. Eventually, some macaques will start to go bald, just like some people. I'm your host, Romika Sanino, and I'm a conservation scientist, writer, and photographer. Every episode will be introducing you to new animals caught on camera traps around the world. We're getting some footage from Mongo Bay, and these are some of the extents we take to get our SD card. Don't forget to subscribe to Mongo Bay to get notifications about our latest videos. The stump-tailed macaque, also known as the bear macaque, is a monkey native to South and Southeast Asia. They're found in tropical and subtropical evergreen forests, preferring primary forest over secondary and disturbed ones. This means they need intact forests to thrive. Stem-tailed macaques are semi-terrestrial primates. As they are large and heavy and have an extremely short tail, they're not the best climbers. That's why they forage, groom and play on the ground. The only times they will climb trees is in search of fruits or when it's dark to find somewhere to sleep. They're omnivores and just like other macaque species, they have cheek pouches in which they store food. They primarily eat fruit, which makes them important seed dispersers within their environment. But they can also eat frogs, birds, eggs and freshwater crabs. Stem-tailed macaques live in social groups made up of several monkey families. The total number of individuals in a group can vary from just a few monkeys to up to 60. Even though they have hierarchies within their troops, they're amazing at diffusing confrontations and maintaining a high degree of harmony. The most dominant members are the alpha males, and they have the responsibility of protecting the group. To do so, they will climb trees to keep a lookout for potential predators. If they see one, the alphas will roar to scare away the predators. They also have more access to mates. When females are around five years of age, they will typically give birth to their first baby. Infants are dependent on their mothers for the first year and a half. Females remain within the social groups they were born into for the rest of their lives, while males leave their family group when they reach sexual maturity. In captivity, stem-tailed macaques may live up to 30 years, but in the wild it's often shorter due to predation. They are classified as vulnerable by the IUCN, and populations are projected to decline over the next 30 years due to threats such as hunting and habitat loss. To protect these species, we need to protect large areas of primary rainforest and eliminate poaching threats. In the next episode, we'll be meeting an animal from Central America whose nickname is the Stinker of the Forest. Tell us in the comments if you know what animal it is. See you next time. Manga Bay.